Hi, uh, I'm going to talk to you about Glass, which is M. Night Shyamalan last movie. I was uh, excited to see it. I loved the village. I loved signs. I, well, I've seen Sixth Sense uh, already knowing the twist because somebody told me, but I loved some of Shyamalan's work. Uh, for instance, uh, Science. Science was one of the most haunting movies I've ever seen. I'm not the person, and let me tell you this for future reference, I don't like horror movies. Uh, not, I can appreciate them as a piece of art, but I don't have whatever it takes for you to be excited by them or scared by them or whatever. So I don't watch many horror movies because I, I just, there's something missing in my brain and there are, there are studies that say this. You have to have some specific uh, stuff in your brain for horror movies to work on you. And they don't work on me. Slash movies, they don't work on me. Uh, I, I watch them as a, okay, cool. I mean, you, you get disturbed, but they don't produce what people usually go to feel in a horror movie. So, Science to me was the most haunting movie I've ever seen. I was very excited to see Glass. I saw that there was this a lot of advertising. It came very highly recommended. The studios bet on it. So I was very excited to go see it. Uh, it seems that it's the last movie of a trilogy made by Unbreakable and Split and now Glass. Apparently it took 19 years to, to do this trilogy. I didn't see Unbreakable or Split, so I don't know the characters. I went to see Glass clean. And it was the biggest disappointment ever. <sighs> I slept in the movies, which is something I don't do very often. I slept. I have to say, I have to be honest with you, I didn't see the whole movie, I fell asleep. So this is a tricky one to comment. Let me try. I have a lot of notes on this one. Um, so apparently, let me tell you about the story. The story is about three comic book-like superheroes that are gathered in a, psychic, uh, a psychiatric facility. Uh, by a doctor who tries to convince them that they are only superheroes in their minds. I didn't see the previous movie, so I didn't know if they were superheroes or not. I was convinced they were. Uh, but the discussion in the first half, the discussion about what's a superhero, are they superheroes, are there superheroes among mankind, what does that say about our... Uh, about mankind. That is an interesting discussion. Um, I found it interesting. It, it, it got my attention. The presentation of the characters. The characters are David Dunn, played by Bruce Willis, who's a reluctant hero. Kevin Wendell Crumb, played by James McAvoy, who's a disturbed man with 23 personalities, among which is the Beast, an animalisk type of personality very aggressive, very violent. Um, and uh, Elijah Price, aka Mr. Glass, who's a, who's a smart brainy villain whose bones break if you just blow on them. So if you touch him or if you push him, his bones break. He's Mr. Glass. Um, the characters are interesting. The presentation of the characters was convincing and was exciting. And um, Although, although there are throughout the movie some uh, some continuity issues, uh, uh, some some time references, mix-ups, uh, uh, it, it was noticeable. So you know, uh, it, it's an artsy movie, and you're ready for it. And uh, for those of us who like Shyamalan. Uh, we 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 get it and we like it and we are expected to be to be dazzled, so that's not the problem. Uh, James McAvoy, let, let me tell you this. Let me tell you this. Uh, a lot has been said about James McAvoy's performance. The guy is amazing. Let me say this. Uh, I like actors. I always defend them. James McAvoy changes characters. Amazingly, I mean, he, the physicality, the the accents, the 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 tones, the he's 
a craftsman on this. And a lot has been said. Uh, James uh, uh, Samuel L. Jackson said that he was amazed by it, and I am amazed by it. Uh, absolutely. But even that was shoved down our throats. I'm sorry. It, it, if, he done, if he's done like six or seven, you'd see the craftsmanship of this actor. It was so long and so, so shoved down our throats that it was like, okay, fine, I know he's good. Come on, move along. You know, what the fuck? <laughs> okay, someone said that this movie has dull moments in pedantic dialogue in one of the critics I read. Um, true, I agree with it. From the middle to the end, when Mr. Glass takes over the movie and his master plan to do this major showdown, comic-like showdown, uh, comes underway, um, it's just painful. I fell asleep. There was like, oh, God. And then I opened up my eyes and there was this sentence saying, and this is the, the and finally we see what's behind mankind or what, what mankind was created for or whatever. And you go like, huh? Oh, please. No, less, okay? I don't know the twist at the end. I was sleeping. So this is my review. I'm so sorry, Mr. Shyamalan. Please dazzle me next time. Go to the movies anyway, please.